In this video, I'm going to show you every single one of the ESP, if you don't know what that means, email service providers out there on the market. So not just Google, not just Outlook, not just SMTP, all the ones I know work well. So let's just hop into this. We're just going to give you some guidance on what is currently working. If you want to do high volume sendings, I'm going to show you my personal recommendations. What do we use to send the one plus million emails a day? for us as well as our clients so yeah here we go i'm not going to show you the personal ones this is just going to be a list extensive to business emails so whereas google microsoft might have personal ones like hotmail gmail all of that i'm not going to count these in this video because it's a whole different topic and those are not very scalable so first of all everybody knows google workspace the good old reliable has smtp so just some notes it costs six dollars per user excellent inbox placement well technically you're limited to send 2k a day i wouldn't go anywhere above 20. so if you want to get these six bucks if you're going on a monthly plan for the starters and this is right now actually on sale usually this is like eight dollars at this point with today's current pricing so yeah very very expensive very 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 pricey and like i said i'm going to give you some of my personal recommendations towards the end of the video if you don't know how you can get google workspaces for as low as one dollar twenty cents or even cheaper like in some cases we can get them for one cent these are different licenses so within google workspace there's different panels so there's educational non-profit legacy panels legacy panels have been quite shit recently educational panels are quite good and non-profit ones are quite good as well but nobody is going to sell you authentic google workspaces below 1.5 five dollars all of those resellers are selling you just educational panels if you didn't know that then you're welcome basically look for around two dollars even at that point they might be marking up educational panels so i mean that's just something to keep in mind authentic ones never come below two bucks next is microsoft outlook everybody knows you can get the exchange one which is a little bit cheaper you can get the basic one again this is some kind of discounted ones let's go back here so basically this is microsoft 365 outlook exchange online is just basically email and the other one gives you some slight bit of variations so as you can see you can use the whole suit on your native business which is not really necessary so cost about four bucks five bucks six bucks and yeah you can send 10k a day per organization top tier ips ideal for outreach scale if you obviously rotate it so this is one of the best this is probably the best i would say most of our infrastructure right now is in outlook because there is such a good method right now that you can run this is post-production sabo here i'm actually re-recording this clip because we have just received so many requests and i mean and probably 10 of you guys dm me each and every single day about what kind of infrastructure i use how much does it cost how can i get in so you know i just decided to share that all with you so if you go to maildeck.co it's actually our site something that we build if you want tenants yourself you can just come here order for yourself if you're part of the citadel you get 20 percent off you could check the prices whatever this is actually exactly the system that we use so right now about 90 percent of our allocation is in outlook 10 percent is smtp and some of the stuff we're experimenting with but right now this is literally the best way you can send cold emails for cheap like all the people i know who are sending 25 30 million emails a month are using this at the moment so if you want to get in for cheap then feel free to hop on if you have any questions just let me know and yeah back to video basically how the strategy works is if you come here depending on how much volume you want to do there's different plans if you want to do crazy volume like we had one guy who ordered 1100 tenants that's right 1100 tenants in just two weeks and now he's able to send 600k a day crazy currently we're doing 600k for ourselves plus we have about like 800k for our clients this is literally the simplest way you can get started with cold email if you're not doing this i really don't know why because this is not going to be around forever how it works you just need one domain depending on how much you want to send let's say it's 10k per day just divide that by 500 and then you're going to get a number so in this case 20 tenants so you're going to need 20 domains and the rest is we're going to handle all of that each domain each tenant is able to send 500 per day and then 
why is that you might be asking so let me just explain so each tenant you send cold and you send warm it adds up into one account which is your tenant that tenant is basically just your admin panel on microsoft around 2k cents per tenant per day your account will get flagged by microsoft so if you do five cold emails plus seven warm so i'm going to put here cs cold and seven warm times 100 accounts because we configure 100 accounts if you add this together that's 12 times 100 which is well crazy 1200 which stays above this limit i recommend to stay around like 1000 1200 this is what we do five cold and seven warm if you want to copy what we do but this is just how the math makes sense so you don't want to count warm sends because that doesn't really matter that's why i always just count the cold sends so in this case like i said it's five you can go above this but it just scares me a lot of people do they have no issues but it's just not something i recommend i'd rather stay safe sending a little bit less they actually have problems pretty much each week but it's up to you this is just my recommendation you can do whatever you want but right now google got f***ed. smtp takes a lot of time and outlook and just g suite if you go with them like from the actual company itself microsoft g suite it's gonna cost 20 times as much so who knows how much longer this is gonna stay around for but this is my number one pick so this is just what we use like 90 percent of our email for infrastructure is right now in outlook which is a little bit crazy but it just works super super well and i'll show you if everything went to shit, we would just be able to replace everything in just like a click and that's coming up that's going to be basically smtp for those of you who don't know but let's go on so zoho mail it's good it works like contrary to popular belief a lot of people got burnt with this in 2023 it's fine now you can get these for one to four dollars deliverability is solid it's cheap you can get these for one to four dollars but if you break down the math you can get out looking boxes for 15 cents really nothing beats that but let's move on so amazon workmail four dollar per user can integrate with aws sas if it's necessary and there's the next step so aws sas sas just means simple email system it's just basically you pay per send and it's extremely scalable needs good setup to avoid spam and it's basically like smtp and by the way if you don't know what smtp is simple mail transfer protocol which is basically like the mailing sending system behind the scenes and what people do is they get banned for using this for marketing that's what i've noticed so generally it's very very hard to scale this but i mean if you do it in-house you can figure out a way to actually run this like we have we have some more partners who run this at scale it is not that difficult ultimately if you know what you're doing and a lot of people tell you it, it doesn't work it does work i'm here to tell you we use this ourselves though it's very very limiting it's very very challenging to actually get right all right next is sendgrid which is basically twilio same thing basically as aws SaaS. you can work with both of these try to test it yourself i recommend aws SaaS. it's just more deliverability sendgrid is also fine Next is Mailgun. These are all SMTP, by the way, right? Like Google Works or GC, the same thing. Microsoft Outlook, that's its own separate ESP. So again, like email service provider. Zoho has its own unique stuff, but these are all SMTP. I'll mention which one is which really, right? So like if we go doors down the bottom of the list, like Yandex, that has its own ESP system as well, right? So it's separate to all the other stuff, right? And then people talk about like private SMTP. That's also good. So you can also build your own Google sort of ESP, but you know, it's gonna take a lot of time. It's very easy to mess up. A lot of people do it. A lot of people go to spam. I mean, if you wanna be among those people, go ahead and do it. It is very, very hard to crack. You can go with some decent providers like MailReef is one I would recommend if you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, I mean, those those definitely work. Those definitely work at scale as well. I'm not affiliated with them by any means. So it's just something that I like to recommend for beginners. But yeah, next is Mailgun. This is basically an API. So if you don't know what that is, just I would ignore it. It's good for developers. Postmark is again, another one of these transactional email systems like AWS SaaS. So $15 per 10K emails which is dirt cheap but again you're gonna have the same problems they're gonna bet your company they're gonna have a whole lot of questions asked about why are you sending these emails right it's very very hard to get to work next is bravo you can freely send 300 emails a day 
in bulk here it's slightly throttle dsp i don't think anybody's heard of it i do think it's worth a try especially if you're limited with budget i would try all of these definitely worth a shot right because google microsoft everybody knows about these zoho you can actually create zoho free accounts which is quite interesting i could show you actually how you can do it super simple like for the company emails that we don't want to pay monthly which is generally go to zoho you can configure one email super simply so zoho mail pricing that's it and then you need to scroll down and it's a little bit of a trick because they don't advertise it but it's still there so as you can see mail light blah blah, blah. we don't need that you can take it for a spin free trial but we don't want to do this we want to do the free forever plan and you can sign up for this super simple it's free and you can put one domain on it with five users if you're low on budget you can get five emails for free for basically one domain i mean if you have a little bit of a time or maybe you have a va or god forbid you created an automation use all of this you can get 100 domains and then configure 500 email accounts and then log that into your sequencer and then you don't really have to pay any of this amount but don't take it from me i'm just the messenger you can do whatever you want with this information i'm just saying there's lots of ways you can take this email route so i just like to give you guys the control because you know i know it sucks to be budget tied and not having the ability to send like hundreds of thousands of emails or more a day like we are because i mean if you are at that scale i mean i can test whatever the hell i want and the next day i'm gonna get a ton of meetings for that offer worst case scenario i'm gonna get a ton of feedback and by the next day i mean i could change up the lead list and i could reiterate i hate to overspend for sequencers i hate to overspend for inboxes because there's just so much that goes into email cleaning lead enrichment the sequencers and and all of the other stuff that is not involved like if you have a va who's managing the inboxes there's a lot that goes into it right so i mean it's good to find the best buck for your money in this regard so i mean if you're really just starting out i think this is a solid solution going back next we have something called fast mail i don't think you've heard of it neither have i for the longest time it is not bad again you can sign up for this this pretty much costs similar amounts to what google costs just basically like half that so 1604 it's is basically like four dollars and yeah it's, it's cheaper it's less less abused it is decent nothing wrong with it just another option you can take i wouldn't choose it personally because i i really don't like spending again above like one to two dollars per inbox like without look which is spending like 15 cents it's basically nothing that's why we don't really rely on on workspace we're pretty much all in on outlook as well as AWS, SaaS, and SMTP, but you can do whatever you want. Next is Proton Mail. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a Swiss company, creates, well, supposed to be anonymous solutions, but yeah, you can sign up for their paid plans and business email, which I think is about like $4. Like, depends on the region you are. Like, you can have Proton Mail free. That's gonna be a little bit of a different story you can get one free email address which is not bad right but it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to actually set up but again like if you're struggling to get started for free here you go another alternative if you just got a little bit of hustle in you and you don't have money but you have time you can create a hundred of these free accounts this is a brand new email so i mean it might land in spam it, it might not I, I don't actually know but I mean, you can warm these emails up just the same. And the way you can add these to your sequencer is we just go and upload the SMTP. Like ProtoMail has its own SMTP ports. So usually you have Google, Outlook, and then SMTP. And then you just click on SMTP and then you, you know, click upload. This is a little bit of sidetrack because I did not want to include like personal ones. But I mean, if you saw from the pricing as well, you can get 15 emails for $7, something like that. That's really good. Like 50 cents per email. Business email. Find your plan. Ah, I don't know. They always change it. I mean, literally we just took it. Oh, yeah, professional, right? Well, you could pay 7 euros, 10 email addresses. Huge, huge. These are, these are really good. So... Yeah, 70 cents. That's already under a dollar. And, you know, we're not even through the video. So you can use something called Tunoda as well. That's another one. Decent. It's got limited SMTP access. So I would not 100% recommend this. But I mean, it is free and open source. But it has its own private business email accounts as well. So you can start for free on the personal ones, I'm pretty sure. But for business, you do need to pay. But the other thing is here, look, for 8 euros, just $10, you can get 30 emails. 
so huge again that's 30 cents email email that's huge there's so many right like zoho gives you five email accounts per just one registration tunoda gives you one we just check proto mail gives you one as well so many so many options all right next is mail fence this is actually a company from belgium three dollars simple there's nothing really like extra about this you can run aliases it doesn't really matter next is rumbox same thing three dollars norway decent ish personally i have not used this i've seen people use it it is more of a specialty one i would say but again there's another alternative for you there's many many more i just listed a few of these in this list i just want to show like with this video that you don't need to again listen to those people who are trying to sell you those inboxes and then having to rely on google workspace where they get like a, a legacy panel for 1k with 10k inboxes and they sell them to you for three dollars per month per inbox right they're literally stealing from you. Just want to arm you with some useful information. MX Route, this is a simple SMTP one. Uh, you can get started with this. Lifetime promo, super simple. $45, I think, per year. It's a good budget SMTP. And then next we have, before last, is Yandex. Yandex email is just a Russian one. 3 to $4 per one. Very good sender reputation if used properly. Migaru is sort of a pay what you want model. And this is sort of the final one on the list. It is interesting. Well, let me show you pricing. $99 a month. You can get 2K out per day, which, I mean, if you think about it, like $3 a day. 2k emails you're paying 1.5 dollars right for 1k emails a day that's that's huge that's huge that's almost like the postmark type deal from again different reputation this is its own esp and not a you know just classified as private smtp so yeah again if you want to take up on my recommendations and copy what i do i do outlook do aws SaaS, which unfortunately there's no way you can currently get unless you own your own infrastructure so i cannot really recommend you to do that and as i'm TP, which is also again private you can go with something like mail reef that's what i would recommend we might release our own because a lot of you have been asking for it as well as how do i do outlook so i mean here you go we just created a site for it you can order tenants here's a guide on how you can do it and also if you get the guide then you get 20 percent off the tenants anyway i hope you got some value out of this and I hope I was able to show you that, again, you don't need to rely on those pesky resellers. There's so many alternatives with emails. It's, it's actually crazy, right? Like people who say the email Armageddon has come, it has come for them because they're stupid assholes who are trying to mislead you. And I'm here to show you there's so many options. So there's really no reason, even if you have zero money, that you should not be sending at least a thousand emails a day. If you have a little bit of money, come on, send at least 10k a day. And if you are bowling, send 100k a day and let's cook on those offers that you're running. All right, man, I'll see you in the next one.